Let's follow up to our last segment on the 212's Art Center and Summer Camp. I'm here with Rob and Amara, and we just got done with working with the kids on an art project, and we're going to talk about it. So thank you guys, and thanks for doing another interview, Rob. Yeah. Um, so can you guys talk about what you did today with the kids? Um, so today we did a group mural project. Um, we had about 12 students, and we talked a little bit about lines and patterns. And we did a nice like rotation throughout the whole project. We try to get the kids up and moving, using different colors, working together. And we they're also really young, but we introduce them to their first artist critique. So we like talk about the work and then see how they like problem solve and figure out how to make it better. Great. And speaking of the artist critique, what are some of the other traditional techniques or things you try and implement besides kids just doodling on paper? <laughs> Um, well, we, for this project, we really stressed uh, different types of patterns and lines that you can create. So we, before we even got started, um, Amara here was able to uh, talk to the students and they kind of came up with a list of different lines and patterns that they could include in the mural. So instead of just filling in areas, we really stress um, incorporating a variety of different patterns and, and uh, line techniques. Anything else? Well, just in the summer, we like try to keep it fun, but every day there's at least something we stress. Or like with 212, we're able to bring them a variety of supplies, like maybe different art supplies they wouldn't get at school, or like just bigger things like we do with the groups that we have. It's, it's pretty fun. Great. And what were the kids' reception today? It was good. It was a good project. Um, they all seemed to be on task until the very end um, and kind of concentrated on what they were doing. But we had them work on one mural they might start out in the beginning and then we had them rotate to a different mural so they were never really stuck in one area which I think they kind of liked. Everyone worked on the mural together and might do a pattern here and then incorporate another one uh, on the other mural. Um, I just like this project because the kids give you a lot of feedback like I try to interact with them a lot when we're doing this. It's a lot about communication and then that way they can tell us what they like, what they don't like, and we can take the painting in a different direction. And what are some of the projects you guys have coming up with summer camp? Well, we're thinking of using the courtyard here at the Community Ed uh, program to do some watercolor landscape painting. Um, we're also thinking of doing, uh, Amara came with the great idea of doing an art challenge, so bringing a variety of materials and uh, then they yeah. like we bring in a set amount of materials, like just random things, and then the kids like have to work together and put them into one like, work, and so they'll make like a picture out of like random things, like noodles or buttons. It's a, it's a challenge. They I think they'll, they'll like it. And we also do like um, things for their imagination, like uh, magic tree house projects. They the basis is a tree house, but sometimes they can have it underwater, like in a bubble or. Just all different things. It's pretty fun. Wow. Yeah, it sounds like the kids would have a lot of fun with it. Um, is there anything else you guys want to mention about 212 or working with summer camp? Um, well, this is our second year. Uh, mentioned in the first interview of working with the community at building, so we're just trying to team up, and we really enjoy stopping by here. They have great facilities for us to use, and 212 is a great art center because they give us supplies to come over here and and teach an art project to the kids. So utilizing those facilities, both at 212 Art Center and Community Ed is making a great partner partnership. So. The teachers here are really great. They're so like kind to us and just whatever we need. And it's, it's we get a lot of support, so it's very fun. Well, it was a lot of fun watching you guys work with the kids today, and they really seem to get a kick out of it. So thanks again for doing the interview. And after this video clip, if anyone has any questions about 212 Art Center or Community Ed, stay tuned and you'll see the info. So thanks, guys. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.